Hey, what's up everybody? WCR2 is back and I'm coming to you guys with another video. This time I'm going to be playing Sprint Vector on the Oculus Quest 2. Yeah, I actually got this headset about two weeks ago, I think. But uh, overall, I am enjoying my time with this headset and I am really wanting to see how well this thing does with Sprint Vector. And as you guys know, I'm probably, I'm not really a top player, but I feel like I can do a pretty good impression. Right now, the 90 Hertz is still not on yet. I don't know when they're gonna actually let me implement that at some point, but I'm hoping to give a good impression with Sprint Vector with the Oculus Quest 2. Oh, oh, that's neat. So let's see how well this goes. This should actually be interesting. So hopefully everyone, I can give a good impression when it comes to this game on the Oculus Quest 2. And as I'm playing this on virtual desktop, and I'm not seeing any lag as of right now. Dude, that's good. have a lot harder of a time playing this on the Oculus Quest 2, but I'm, I'm really, I'm not. Somebody in here, this is actually a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. I may be a big rock, but don't take me for granted. <laughs> ready, ready? Sorry, folks, I picked them for their ability to race. <laughs> Oh, 
Honestly, I feel like I could smoke some of the top players with this now. Wow. That was probably the best I've done. But I gotta say, this is this this feels good. hit that one move that's like really hard and I still didn't make like top 10. I thought this was supposed to have challenging activities involved.
to say, I really want to challenge some of the best players at the game again. You know, I want to, what well, I really want to challenge one, Matthew Wow. Doing great, Bumba. Look at that fury right out of the gate. I guess if there was some kind of booster on the starting line. Soaring across the floor. Honestly, I also have to finish homework at some point. I haven't done that yet. I was just thinking about that robot and the first season's back. You know, the one who knocks up on all the time. I gotta say, the tracking in this is also very good. If y'all don't remember, I actually had a tough time with the tracking of this on the Oculus Quest 1 and sometimes on, uh, on the Windows Mixed Reality as well. But I did feel like I was faster on the audience. But the tracking of this is actually uh, it's actually better considering how much I'm flailing my hand. On the Oculus Quest 1, I did actually have some trouble with the tracking of this because sometimes it will fling me into the wall to the right. This hasn't done that yet. It has, I think it did it one time, but it, it, it was more consistent on the Oculus Quest 1 versus the Oculus Quest 2. And I can see the improvement. Now this is going to be a real test. See if the grip, grip animation works really well. Really good on this. I can't talk to that. Clown for missing that.
Oh, wow. I Vector for right now. I appreciate everyone coming in to come watch. Actually, I gotta say, this is probably one of the best experiences I've had on the Oculus Quest so far. A lot of these jumps and a lot of these mechanics are actually a little bit better on this versus the Oculus Quest 2 and my Windows uh, Mixed Reality. I gotta say, I have enjoyed my time with this. Anyway, guys, make sure to come back. I will be hopefully one day when Oculus or Facebook decided to turn on the 90 hertz. I really want to test this out at 90 hertz. Anyway, thanks, Mumble, for showing up to race me. I appreciate the that. You did great. It actually helped me to test out the most. So, everyone on the stream, well, in my video, thanks for dropping by, and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks, Dad. I really appreciate it. Bye.